Welcome back everyone. Maybe in a position where you want to go ahead and request the desktop site on really any website out there. Now depending on the website, it may be only a mobile website, but if it's really like Facebook or anything like that, we'll even use like apple.com for example. Let's say you want to go ahead and access apple.com and you want to make it the desktop site. All you have to do is go ahead and find your little space, you know, tag bar at the bottom, the little search bar. Sometimes you may not be able to search bar like this. Sometimes you'll see it at the top, depending on which version of software you're at or if you changed it. So what to do here, all you have to do is find the two A's. And all you have to do is go and click on the two A's and you'll come into this panel. Now there may be more or less options that come up. Sometimes there will be probably the same amount of options I have. And all you wanna do is find this request desktop website option. Now sometimes when you click it, it may not work properly. Again, that just basically comes down to the website itself but you can go and click on request desktop website and a majority of the time the website will go ahead and change and switch over to this specific type of panel. Now, you can see it did not work here. Sometimes some websites, like I mentioned, do not work. If I make my way over to something like google.com, let's go and try it there. So I go and click on Google. I don't know why it doesn't work every time I click it, but you wanna make your way over to something like Google and here you can go and click here and you can go and click to request desktop site and you can see it does change over to this specific desktop website. So it is kind of hit or miss, but that is essentially how you do it. You click on the two A's, you click request or request desktop site, and then you get here, and then you can also click here and request mobile site on that one as well. So you can go back and forth. So that is pretty much the process to do it. If it's not working, I would probably recommend updating your iPhone and then pretty much going down that direction. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.